Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video, and today we have another budget store find. This time it's the board game 1313 Dead End Drive, the game of relative danger. It's for ages 8 and up, and it's brought to you by Parker Brothers. Again, this is another budget store find, and of course I have it pre-set up for us. Um, I picked this up for $4.99 and 50% off. So, can you survive the traps and inherit my millions? Never knew you had a rich aunt? Well, unfortunately, I've passed on, but I'm leaving my money to you. All you need to do is come to 1313 Dead End Drive and escape with your share. Beware, getting out isn't easy. My home is filled with traps like the revolving fireplace, the loose boar's head, and oh, by all means, please be careful on the stairs. Plus, there are other relatives and staff you should watch out for. Do you dare take your share? Welcome to the family, Aunt Agatha. So you got the stair traps, you got the armor trap. So again, if you're playing uh, with four players, you have, it takes about an hour. If you're playing with two players, it takes about one and a half hours. And then of course it gives you a bunch of photos of what the uh, game board will look like. Table of contents, this game was released in 2002 by Hasbro. Of course, for more information about this game, go to Hasbro.com. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. So as you see here, I already have the game board laid out for us. It took a little bit to put together, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like all set up. So you've got your suit of armor. Again, you gotta be careful with these traps because they, they move out, they're not glued in. Got the safe trap over here. You got the working fireplace here that twists and turns. Okay, you've got the stair trap. And you have the boar's head that just basically pops off, which I'm not gonna pull that off because I have to put it back on, I can't quite reach it. Anyway, so you've got the great room You've got the art room over here. You've got the trophy room up there. Up top here, you have a secret passage. You have the parlor room, which is down here, and another secret passage on the side over here. Your welcome down here is your entrance, which you can't necessarily see. Uh-oh, there you go. And we have another secret passage over here in the vault room, which is over here, which has the safe in. But anyway, that's what the board looks like. So how do you play the game? Well, let's take a look at our rule book, which I have right here. So it's again for ages nine up, two to four players, 1313 dead end drive. Here we go, table of contents. Of course, at the beginning of the game, it shows you a layout of how the game board should look, which is right there in front of you again. And I have this. Then the first couple pages are all about the assembly, putting the board together, making sure all the traps work, making sure everything is placed in its proper uh, location on the game board. Okay, so right about here, it starts talking about the air pawns. And there's a shoot of armor and all the stuff that we just talked about that's on the game board. So the money, the will and the money bag tokens. And it tells you to take everything out, punch everything out. It tells you a little about the cards, the air cards, what they're all about, uh, playing cards. Then we talk about the game rules. Here you go. What's the object of the game? Collect money bag tokens by moving your air pawns out the front door of the mansion. Spring traps to knock off your opponent's pawns and try to keep your own pawns from getting knocked off. The game ends when the clock strikes midnight, card is drawn or when no heirs are left inside the mansion. To win, be the player with the most money bag tokens. There you go, how to play on your turn. You're gonna roll, you're gonna draw, you're gonna play. Move and roll, again, uh, special doubles rule, pawn movement rules, backtracking. On a die roll of three, you can move a pawn as shown here. You can't move a pawn as shown here. Okay. Special spaces, your secret passages, like I said, using a secret passage, moving from one location like this one. Again, I don't want to 
Don't get too much moving from this secret passage to this secret passage here. It's an example of that, which they showed right there in the book right there. You got trap spaces, moving on to stair spaces, moving on to a trap space. Draw a playing card. Play one or more cards. The five kind, uh, five kinds of playing cards are explained below. You have a room card. Take a new air card. Run for it cards. You have trap cards. You have wild trap cards. How to spring a trap. You have the staircase trap, which is over there in the corner over there. You've got the fireplace trap, which I showed you right in the middle there. And of course you have the boar's head trap, which is the one that's over there in the corner. You have the suit of armor trap, which is right here. And then you have the safe trap, which is right there. Knocking off a pawn. Slide this uh, share to uh, the next air. Escaping from the mansion. On a die roll of five, you move your dusty pawn out the front door. Now you can collect your money bags. Running out of pawns, strategy tips, bluffing, keep an eye on the will. Retrap move. It says here, on a die roll of five, here's one way you can move Cedric off the suit of armor trap. Then right back onto it. How to win? Okay, how do we win the game? The game ends as soon as either of the following happens. A player draws the clock strike midnight card or the last pawn on the game board either gets escapes or gets knocked off. Players count up their money bag tokens. The player with the most tokens wins the game. Of course, easy storage. Just take everything apart and put it right back into the box. Of course, brought to you by Parker Brothers. It was released in 2002 by the good people over at Hasbro. There you go. There's your rule book. There's your board. They also happen to mention Aunt Agatha's will. The scoundrel shown here, Ender, will inherit as much of sweet Aunt Agatha's fortune as they can get their sneaky, conniving hands on. So you got Spritzy, Sedgwick, Dast, uh, Dusty, Parker, Prudence, Lala, Clay, Charity, Smothers, Pierre, Madame Astra, Sassy, Perkins, Pugsley, Beauregard III, and Poopsy. So there you go. That's the will on the back. It just says the Aunt Ag Agatha's will. There you go. And then we have, again, this was, of course, a used game that I purchased. So uh, it comes with two die, two d6, there you go, put those out here, move this down just a little bit, you can see this stuff just a little better, okay, and there's the welcome, I was trying to show you before, but there you go, I forgot to put the camera down, there's your welcome sign, okay, and we also get a bunch of these, what they call money bag tokens, which look like this, all of them are identical, you flip it over, it looks nothing on the back, but there you go. Got a million dollars right there. And you get a bag full of those. Then you also get some. There's a whole bunch of stuff inside here. Again, if you got this game originally, you would have to punch all the stuff out. There would be punch boards and all that stuff, but obviously, this is used game, so everything's been pre-punched. So, we have two decks of cards, as they mentioned earlier. You've got your 13-13 Dead End game cards, which are right here. All the backs are the same. Front and back, depending on which way you want to call it. And then we have another deck of cards, which is called your air cards in the front or it's back depending on what you want to call it are all the same so there you go so let's take a look at what these cards have to say as mentioned in the rule book we have here move any pawn to the art room move any pawn to the parlor room move any pawn to the volta room 
move any pawn to the great room. Clock strikes midnight, game is over. So you wanna make sure you shuffle these cards really, really well. Move any pawn to the trophy room. So those are all your different rooms that are located on the board. Take a new air card, take a new air card, and fireplace or armor. That's a trap card, fireplace or armor trap card. Run for it. Wild trap card, meaning place it on any trap that you want. Fireplace or safe, fireplace or safe, safe or stairs. Boar's head or armor, depending which one you want to go on. Boar's head or stairs, there you are. So those are your traps, your individual rooms. Of course, the game ends on the strike, the clock strikes midnight. Take an air card, the run cards, and those are all your different kinds of cards that are for the game. Then we have our air cards, which are all the different characters that you can see in the game. So you got Clay, it says, he held court at, as the resident tennis pro. With Agatha, Agatha's demise, how much will his net worth increase? Smothers. He served Agatha with a silent sneer for 30 years. Now he'll like to serve himself to a cushy retirement. You have Poopsie the cat. She's decked out in diamonds and crammed with caviar. Will this finicky furball get the lion's share of the loot? You get Pugsley the dog. This pop-eyed pooch lives in the lap of luxury, and he's doggedly determined to get a leg up on the loot. You got Lulu. Lulu traded tea and gossip for an occasional loan from her sister. Will her teacup runneth over with riches? You got Dusty. With a swish here and a swivel there, Dusty kept the mansion clean. Now she's hoping for a tidy sum. Madam Astra. Her crystal ball failed to predict Agatha's demise, but if she plays her cards right, her, a fortune is in her future. You have Sassy. She sponged off Auntie while trying to launch a rock and roll career. Can she soak up enough bucks to hit the big time? You've got Pierre. He spent years in the kitchen whipping up Agatha's favorite treats. Now he's drooling for a big piece of the pie. You got Sedgwick. Agatha's mad scientist nephew is on the verge of curing baldness in eagles. Without funds from auntie, he'll wig out. We have Prudence. This former ambulance chaser was hired to keep an eye on Agatha's fortune. Now she wants to get her hands on it too. We've got Charity. She doctored up Agatha's medical bills for years. Can she operate her way to big cut of the cash? We've got Parker. Agatha drove her up the wall with her backseat driving tips. Can she make a getaway with a trunk load of loot? You got Perkins, keeper of Agatha's wild game preserve. He collects exotic reptiles. Will this snake worm his way into a fortune? Beauregard III, charming, swarmy Beauregard, won Agatha's gentle heart. Can this Don Juan con his way into a windfall? And last but not least, we have Spritzy. She clipped, snipped, and gipped Agatha for 15 years, or I should say gipped Agatha for 15 years. Does she have a lock on the main share of the loot? So those are all of your different characters. They're going to be trying to run away with the money. And that, those are your air cards. Now you have... A whole bunch of standees. Again, front and backs are all the same. Very easily, you have a base that goes with them. So that's, you know, they look like that. Looks like that. Front and backs. Again, each of the character was just explained on the cards.
ఇంటర్ And last but not least, you have Smithers. And of course, you have bases for all of your standees. And they're all, all the bases are identical. And there you have it. That's everything that's included. And this concludes our unboxing of the board game, 1313 Dead End Drive, the game of relative danger. Brought to you by Parker Brothers. It's for ages eight and up for two to four players. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, you could always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, you can hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.